Talking about a game that shouldn't be a game that's just using a title to milk a fucking game. This fucking Assassin's Creed Ugh, oh continues <laughs> to piss me off at an unprecedented level. I haven't been this mad since people since fucking Spotify forced people to listen to Aubrey's new album so he could get top sales. This fucking game. And no, no, wait, wait. Let me stop. The audacity that the creator had to talk about how this game is holding on to historical content that 99% of this fucking game is historically content. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck this game. Fuck Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This dog shit. This dumpster fire of a goddamn video game. You're Listen. the only person who's saying that. No. No, 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 no. I am not. True. No, listen to me. Wait a minute, you, you seem kind of true to who? You, see, he, he doesn't, yeah, he hasn't been paying attention. Say, who did you say it's kind of true? No, I'm, I'm saying uh, you're correct, not, not Frank. <laughs> you're still not answering the question. Who, Frank? I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm saying that it's kind of true. You're, uh, Frank is the only one complaining about it. Oh, okay. Thank you. At the moment, <laughs> you're you're fucking high, dude. Go to the fucking websites and look what people are saying. The fact, okay. So first and foremost, this game is supposed to be based off of Spartan lore, right? Okay. There's no woman who's a Spartan warrior. That's right. first and foremost. Get that out of here. Then plus, you're fighting. Plus, plus. You're you're fighting. Okay. You're fighting Medusa and Minotaurs in the woods. Okay. They already explained that. It's stupid. Why is How it stupid? What do you mean? You're talking about a game that's that's based off of depicting historical content. We're talking right. about mythological creatures. There is no myth. They tell you if you would have sat down and listened to the trailer without judging it, you would have explained that it's just an artifact from the first civilization that was corrupting them. To make it look like that. It had nothing. There was no real monsters in the game. There's no Medusa. There's no Minotaurs. It's That's all these so rare stupid. items from the first. Frank, there is no first civilization. You do know that. We are the first civilization. What do you mean that we're, there is and no you first know, civilization? We, you know you can You know you. I'm talking about we are not. There's nobody before the caveman. We didn't just crash and restart it, right? It started from evolution. That's not real. It's a fucking right. game. You can't hook yourself up and go into your ancient ancestors and see the past either. You're taking a game that's made based on science fiction. Debatable. And, and you're hating it. <laughs> it's a fucking I'm, science fiction, bro. I'm, stop and listen to everything you're saying. You're, you're validating the nonsense with the woman. You're validating the nonsense with the minotaurs and the medusas then the new shit that i like i just lost my fucking mind when i said heard it they're getting rid of shield combat that okay. is what the spartan lore is predicated on that is one of the biggest aspects of the Spartans is that they changed combat because of shield combat. Okay. People were complaining on the uh, on the last one that just came out, Origins, because he had a shield. So then Ubisoft tries to please people to take away the fucking shield. And yet there's always that one person who but, still has but, to like, Look, look, I, I this is what I'm going back and saying. Just like you said with Resident Evil 7. You can make this game. The fact that it you have this warmongering Spartan and you're going to call it an assassin? You did are, are you are you guys really that inept fiction, to not bro. see this? You that is that is what I keep hearing it's a fiction. It's a it's fiction. A it's a fiction. It's a fiction, bro. But don't don't call it something that it's not. Like there's yep. nothing that involves assassins and or Spartans 
in this game outside of their fucking name. Didn't they go so far back that at this point there is no assassins? No, there is no assassins. You're right. So then why would you call it Assassin's Creed? It's the origins of origins. It's the origins it, of origins. The, Thank you. Guys, <laughs> this, this, like, like, the fact that that can come out of your mouth and you just not see how ridiculously fucking stupid you sound mm. is... You know who it, did it? It was a Lalo Lila Lu. <laughs> It is. It is. That sounds is, so good, <laughs> Lalo Lila Lu or whatever. It it's is. It's a fucking Lake. fiction, bro. Anybody can sit down and take a fucking Metal Gear game and, from the 1960s when Snake goes back, and almost everything technological in that game is false. I mean, I, I feel. Wait, frank. wait, wait, wait. You, wait, 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 wait. So you could communicate on FaceTime in the 1960s. No, that was never no. Everything was on radio. They never uh, communicated was, via face. Radio. Mm. You didn't see people's faces. Well, you, you saw them via the player, but the individual didn't see them. No. Frank, you can sit down and overanalyze a Metal Gear game and find flaws into the story. Oh, too. absolutely. This is a fiction. Well, absolutely, but we're talking about me. We're. Not, I'm not underanalyzing anything. I'm looking at pure aesthetic. I'm going off the basis of the fucking We get it, Frank. The life. game's not made for you. You don't have to play it. Don't play it. I mean... But, it, but no, it, the, the thing is, is this. Like, it, it's not that don't play it. It's not for you. It goes back to don't call it what it's not. Like, you could have done a game based in ancient Greece... You could have done that. You, you okay. could have done it and had the chick and all this other nonsense that they're throwing in there. But the second you slap that Spartan thing on there, now it's just an exercise in stupidity. I, I mean, I, you. I, I feel, Frank, because when I first started the franchise, I liked how close to... Historical, historical facts be kept to. And that's what I'm going out to. And I go back. I just didn't like Origins gameplay. The concepts of what Origins stood for are great. The idea, I mean, like, because civilization really did rise from Egypt. Hell, Christianity rose from Egypt. All of that, all of that stuff is great and grand and wonderful. I just didn't like the gameplay. That was at the end of the day. If you ever hear me bitch about Origins, it goes back to the gameplay, and that's it. It was it a beautiful game? Absolutely. Did they do some awesome things as far as the lore goes? Hell yeah! Especially when you look at Eden and that we're supposed to like have come from aliens and this idea of the gods and. Egyptian kings and pharaohs like all of that works yeah, do, do you I'm, do you see why I get so angry with this one yeah I mean after after the fuck the Desmond storyline I was like alright just make it fun so that's I've, it that's all I can have fun kinda and I enjoy the, the story that's yeah. all but like it, it's not even based like the entire just just the fact that it's called Assassin's Creed but from all the gameplay I've seen nothing has to do with being an assassin it's about going in and just swinging a war hammer yeah I think at this point they're just targeting uh, the origins of it all storyline even though there's no assassins it still relates through the uh, items of Eden. That's fine. That it wants to go through the items of Eden. That's once again, that concept's fine. That's not what bothers me about the game. What bothers me about the game is the ridiculousness that I bring up because of what that fran. And it goes back to I have loved this franchise. It, it it's not me. It's not me just 
like it's not me Zelda bashing. Like I've never liked Zelda. Zelda's not for me. I've never liked uh, Super Smash Brothers. That that's never been for me. Those are games I bash because I just don't like them. This Assassin's Creed, like I said, I've Dylan. I mean, I think you're the only one that I know that has put in more work as far as trophies go for the uh, trophies, achievements, and whatnot. I mm. think you're the only one who's put in more. Yeah, uh, I I kind of got burnt out because of it, but I'm, 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 as have I. On which games? On, on all games uh, or just uh, on all Assassin's Creed? Assassin's one, Creed. Yeah, Assassin's Creed uh, one through three. Cause, cause, yeah, you said you have one, two, because Assassin's Creed one didn't have trophies on the PlayStation. Right, it had achievements. Um, you had the achievements. Assassin's Creed 2, you had, I think all three of us have the platinum on that one, right? I have it, yes. Mm-hmm. And I have it on 3. I have it on Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. You have it on 3? I didn't know you had it on 3. I have it on Brotherhood. And I have it on... What's that one where, where Ezio's old? Revelations. Revelations. Because I got it on Rogue too. No, I didn't do Rogue. I did Rogue. I did, uh... I got 100% on Freedom Cry. I don't... I... Like I said, man, I've played these games. And I love the concept of them. This one here just... It, it, it angers me so much because it's going away... And everyone's like, oh, it's so cool because it's Spartans. And just how much I love Greek mythology and the his- historical references of Greece. And they're just shitting all over it. Pisses me off to no end. You know, I'm going to have a bigger problem with it, like you, Frank. If the next installation has no assassin mechanics. Yeah. That would suck. <laughs> I... I- I have yet they, to they see say an this assassin. Is the last one. There won't be another one till twenty twenty one. That's good. Put it back in the box. Let it cook. Yep. They should have put it back in the box for this one. I'll put I don't it know. In the box. I don't know why they went annual again. That's. I don't know. Because they probably have nothing coming out. What is Fair Ubisoft with. releasing? Other Fair than Assassin's Creed. They need to put everybody on a fucking uh, what was that game? Uh, Beyond, Beyond Good, e- Good, Good and Evil. Evil but that's yeah, not but that's not out for a hot minute, man. Every publisher needs to have a game available once a year. If not, they're in a fucking shitstorm. Something's gonna happen. Far lose. Cry, but but Far Cry was their game, and they're still releasing content for that. There's they got the Division Two coming up next Far Cry year. Was what the beginning of the year? Yeah, they got the Division Two coming out. They have the Crew Two came out, or it's coming out this year. You seriously uh, think that that Ubisoft can survive 2018 with just fucking uh, Far Cry Far, Five? Far Cry Five. <laughs> Listen, man. Far Cry Five, Rainbow Siege Six, and uh, Rainbow Six and, Six and, and the Crew Two, yeah. I don't yeah, think they're so. Making, you, they're making money. They're making money. Like that, this game, this game should, in my opinion, this game shouldn't come out. You, yes, I, I know they're you making guys. money, but this is a company. They want to. In, they investors are making sure that they're getting at least two new games a year. Crew 2 comes out this year? Yeah, that's two Crew games. Crew 2? Really? You want to put that on the top fucking games for Ubisoft Crew? I don't think so. That's a problem. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, they, but everybody... I up high. <laughs> everybody, everybody's getting hyped for this Crew 2 just but because But I want to put it of, in the top five of Ubisoft games. No, but you got to start somewhere. It is better than release rehashing the same shit over and over and over again. And but with what's opinion. going on, People with what's going, Creed. with what's going on with games nowadays, it's all about longevity. You'll lose money trying to release something new every year. You're gonna lose money. You're gonna burn it out. 
what um what they did with Ghost Recon and Rainbow Siege crossing those two games over getting people to want to play both of those all the DLC and stuff that they're releasing that's where you make your money it is man that's that's where you make your money now and if you don't believe me go back what was the number one game for PlayStation a couple months ago no not even a couple months ago last month Grand Theft Auto 5 yeah they're also releasing um an expansion for for honor. I mean, Did you yeah, just say man. For honor, Dylan. Hey, for honor's doing things. They got that whole expansion of uh, of the Chinese characters coming into play. Yeah, they're really leaning into the games as a service thing, which is working really well for them. I think they they could have just made the new Assassin's Creed an expansion to the Egyptian one. That's what and. and once and they, that's why, that's why in my heart of hearts, man, this game's gonna hurt more than help. I don't think so. I, I that I, I will disagree with you any day. That game is gonna make a lot of fucking money. It's yeah, gonna make that. a shitload of money. People are excited about this game. You are not, and maybe other people aren't. But the amount of people that are way surpasses the people who don't. So this and is why. At the end of the day, that's what they care. They don't care about the people who don't like it. They care about the people who do like it. So on Steam, the.